Social media has made a huge impact on our world. When I'm dealing with student ministry, there's a lot of talk about the negative sides of social media in the addictions and the narcissism and the bullying. Um, so why as a church do we want to be a part of the social media? And the truth is that social media at the end of the day is just a tool and that can be used for very good things or it can be used for not so great things. And so at the church we want to recognize this part of our culture, recognize that this is where people are at. People are on their phones looking at Instagram, looking at Facebook, looking at Twitter. Um, it's become a part of most people's daily lives and so we want to meet people where they're at use these platforms to send messages daily through Instagram through Facebook one to inspire people remind people that uh, of the scriptures of how good God is of the things that he's doing at this church and the way he's moving through the people here in Hazlitt but also just keep them informed on what's going on at the church because I can send email newsletters uh, I can send out text messages to my different groups and my students but at the end of the day I want to utilize every single avenue to make sure that you know when we're having different activities at the church, different programs that you can um, come to, be equipped, be encouraged. And so social media is just a great avenue for that. After you've liked or become a member of all of our different groups, um, then it's time to start interacting with those groups. And there's lots of different ways to do that. Make sure you are liking or commenting on all of our posts. It makes sure that Facebook or Instagram or Twitter knows that what is happening at our church and what's happening within our groups is something that's important to you. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram all use algorithms to help make sure what you really want to see is up at the top of your feed. And then another great way that you can interact with our posts is to share or to retweet. Now not only are you seeing this and you're interacting and it's making sure that all of the information from Northgate is at the top of your feed every, every time you get on your phone or every time you get on your computer, but now all of your friends are also seeing what's going on at Northgate. So this is just an easy way for you to invite people and show others what's happening in our community of believers. You can also change the settings on Facebook or on Instagram to um, become a follower, not just liking our page, but follow our page and follow our Instagram so that you see more of what's going on. It's not at the bottom of your feed. If you're like me, you have a hundred friends, you have lots of different pages and people and businesses that you follow. Um, and so sometimes all of that stuff gets lost at the bottom of your feed, but making sure that you're following these pages, that you're liking and commenting and sharing and interacting with what we put up, that means that it's gonna be at the top of your feed. You're gonna see it every time you get on your phone. You'll always know what's happening here at Northgate. Hey, Northgate Church, even I can see you all the way from New York City. I'm here in youth camp, and I'm still keeping up with you guys. I love you, and I wish you were here with me. Let's talk about hashtags. So... <laughs> It is the pound sign. And then after it, if you put some words, you can't put any spaces or any special characters. And if you put that after your post, you can click on it in most social medias and then connect you to other posts with that same hashtag. Like all of our First Peter sermon note posts are going to have the hashtag First Peter. So anybody on Instagram or Facebook looking at First Peter and our posts will come up, other churches or other people's posts from First Peter will come up and it'll connect us at large, not just with those following our page, but people just following those types of posts. We talked about Jericho a couple weeks ago, so I did hashtag it's going down. If you <laughs> look up hashtag it's going down, you're gonna see my post about the walls of Jericho. Our world is changing so dramatically with availability of handheld devices to communicate, to continue to grow, we need to have, uh, you know, different avenues of reaching to people. And so social media is one of the easiest ways to reach people. And so I thought it'd be good to have like a social media day to talk about, you know, the resources the church uses, because we use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and talk about how to use them properly for the church to help us grow uh, our knowledge of what we uh, make available to people, but also how we can share that with other people and get people interested in what we're doing and, and how we're doing it. So go on and YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook me. That's the way to get close, so you see. We used to be strangers, but now that won't be if you subscribe.